A new ransomware is making its way around the internet, infecting computers mostly in Eastern Europe and Russia. This new threat, dubbed Bad Rabbit, shows some of the similarities of the Petya not Petya attack from earlier this year. This particular threat has the ability to move between computers on a particular network and also has the ability to attack network drives. It also has a hard-coded list of usernames and passwords which it uses to attack other computers as well as network drives, suggesting that this may be a targeted attack. Since it can move from computer to computer on a network, this threat can also be classified as a worm and is a fairly dangerous threat. If we take a look at the virus total results for this particular file, we can see that most major AV engines block this threat and that the name jumps out immediately, Bad Rabbit. If we take a look at the properties of this particular file, we can see that it is disguised as a Adobe Flash player installer, uninstaller, and that it has a digital signature of Symantec Corporation. Under the details of the file, we can see that they have tried to disguise it fairly well, giving it a copyright um, and a file description, as well as a file version. This computer right now is completely clean with no malware installed on it. All of our files on here are currently accessible, but the minute that I run this ransomware, we can see that it pops up in memory terminates itself and is currently running run dll32.exe in the background and our CPU usage immediately spikes. We can see that it's also running command prompts and it has registered a service on our computer. If we take a look at our files we can see that we have lost access to all of the pictures on this computer, they were normal before, and now they are currently unaccessible and encrypted. And if we restart the computer, I will show you what it looks like um, here in just a second. Let me go ahead and do that right now. As we can see here, the sneaky rabbit has delivered its payload and displays a rather generic but straightforward ransom note when the computer starts up. Typical ransomware stuff, we have an installation key here which you give to the cyber criminals in order to get your decryption password. They also have an onion domain here that you have to navigate to in order to pay the ransom which they call a web service. That's always nice when a criminal takes your computer hostage and then calls it a service. And then they also tell you up here that your files are no longer accessible in a rather condescending way. So I hope you guys kind of got something out of this video. Always keep backups of your files and run a legitimate, well-rounded, anti-malware program on your computer because you really do not want to fall victim to these type of uh, threats. They're coming out every day with new variants of ransomware and it's going to be really hard to recover your files if they are encrypted by some kind of ransomware like this. So do what you can to protect yourself because you do not want to fall victim to the bad sneaky rabbit. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you guys later.